Hello everybody, DXB here and welcome to another edition of Artifact Highlight. Air quotations around Artifact for this episode because today I shall torture Yens with hunger by talking about Plaque Bars. The story of this tasty treat goes all the way back to 1886 when Irish immigrant David Little Clark opened up a small candy company in the city of Allegheny, Pennsylvania, now part of Pittsburgh. His company became known as the D.L. Clark Company that would gain fame from their Zagnum bar and in 1917 when David Clark came up with the first form of the Clark bar, a milky chocolate peanut butter bar. Clark bar became a staple of the Pittsburgh region from then on. The Clark bar was famous particularly for a large lit up sign that sat on top of their factory on the North Shore. The Clark bar production left the family business in 1955 and passed through numerous companies such as the Beatrice Foods Company, the Pittsburgh Food and Beverage Company, before it ended up with Necco. The production of the Clark Bar was moved out of Pittsburgh at the end of the 20th century, and the North Shore factory has since hosted different tenants. The famous Clark sign was taken off the roof in 1999 and moved to the parking lot opposite of the building. Wait, 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 before, before I continue, I, I think I need, I, I think I need one of these, yeah, I, I think I need one of these. Okay, let me just try to get this open. I, mean, I, I could just put down the iPhone and open it up, but I want to be some freak who filmed myself eating this. Hmm? Yeah, I'm weird like that. Do you open? No? I'm just going to make an embarrassing video on YouTube. Okay, Clark. The items I have displayed here are wrappings from Clark related items from the 1990s. During the early 90s, Pittsburgh had been taken over by hockey fever. Pittsburgh Penguins won back to back Stanley Cups in 1991 and 1992, similar to what has just occurred in 2016 2017. That mean we get some more Clark bars, Dantan? These Clark bars came after the second Stanley Cup win in 1992. I believe that year the Penguins defeated the Chicago Blackhawks. On these wrappings I find more interesting. They feature Mario Lemieux and judging by the jersey he is wearing, these were probably released between 1992 and 1997. They're not, they're not Clark bars, but instead they are Mario, Clark Bun, car Caramel, and Roasted Peanuts. Wow, that was a mouthful. With a prize of a Lemieux car inside. See, one in three Lemieux cars inside. And I don't think now, though, it's just a bag of air. Now, I have no idea what a bun caramel is, so base, I'm just basing this off the ingredients on the back. I can only imagine they were just hunks of pe roasted peanuts held together by hardened uh, caramel. So that concludes this episode of Artifact Highlight. Again, I apologize if this didn't really focus on artifacts, or your case of artifacts, and made you long for a Clark Bar, and then make you mad to learn that you cannot really find Clark Bars anymore. Well, you can, I just, I just struggle to find them. As always, if you liked this video, be sure to hit that like button. DXP Productions focuses on rail fanning, my history collection, my DVD collection, travels in the western Pennsylvania, western Maryland, and northern West Virginia area. If any of those topics sound interesting, then I would recommend subscribing to the channel. Until then, see you later. I want, I want my Clark bar. Come on, I want it. I don't care if it's tiny. Come on, come on, come on. Give me my Clark bar. Give me my Clark bar. Come on. And I'm just gonna keep doing this. Uh, the an annotation should be showing up by now. Click on one of those videos if you have any more interest, or just continue watching me beat this Clark bar up. Come on, open. Come on. You could open. Nope. Okay.